So the beaver has its own light. And also that monkey has its own spotlight. Welcome to Behind the Stream, powered by Ecamm. We're here with Matt Haas, like Haas and Pfeffer. He reminded me from the old Bugs Bunny cartoon. It's funny that I'm old enough, I remember that. So Matt, thank you for joining Behind the Stream. You want to get a little uh, bit of Behind the Stream and see what you use and why you use it. So why don't you just start off by letting us know who you are. Awesome. Well, the short answer is I'm a geek. I'm a web developer who's also a graphic designer. Those two skills usually don't exist in the same person, but they do with me. Um, I, I love to be creative, and um, I have several YouTube channels. All Things YouTube is the one that um, I'm most known for, and I try and help people make um, searchable videos that people actually watch. Tell us a little bit about your scene, uh, like what you have your setup. You know, what kind of lights are you using? Um, oh, tell sure. us a little bit about your uh, microphones and all that good stuff. You got it. You got it. Well, I can switch over to my remote there. See, that's what I'm looking at. <laughs> very good. The, the lights I use are just very low cost. I think these are 45 bucks. Uh, Supon, I guess, is the brand name, but they have several different brand names. And I have uh, these two and I have the hair light up on the ceiling fan. So for 45 bucks each, I can have these, these uh, really great lights. And if I come back to here, I've got a whole bunch of different lights all connected with the um, cell phone. So I have the red light behind the Xenomorph. And also that monkey has its own spotlight. You can see me turn, see how it got yeah, a little darker? I did. I see you turn it off and on. <laughs> And then um, I've got other lights here. So the beaver has its own light. Uh, we see <laughs> the it. closet awesome. beh behind me, yeah. and then the TV. What the app TV are you using to do all that with? Two two different apps. The one app, I guess it's called Happy Lighting, and it came with the um, the devices. So like you have to use the app for this. The other app I'm using is called Casa and Casa comes with those little electrical bricks that are connected to Wi-Fi. So I, I love RGB. Oh, <laughs> and then um, the, the two big flood lamps have this little thing here. These are exterior grade flood lamps. They That's why you're getting insane. some good. Yeah, oh. some of the I started with some of the very low power ones that just didn't work very well. So those look yeah. good and bright. So that's oh, awesome. and I I have I have an overhead light as well. Um, this is just one of those LED uh, shop, you know, like a basement right, shop, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but that's it's good. It's it's pure white and it's awesome. And what is your camera that you're using there and the lens? That is the. Sony A6100. It's a little behind time there. There Here we go. go. And it's got the uh, Sigma 16 millimeter f1.4. And I have a GoPro over here. Uh, that's the Hero 10. That's the, one of my newest additions. And um, I have a In the Sky. That is the Logitech C920. Very, very good. You you can see all of them. This is the Sony, the C920. I call this the bald spot cam. My <laughs> audience loves the bald there spot you cam. Go. And then the GoPro. And um, I have the Epoch cam, which you you saw, you saw me. And we see you're using the Stream Deck there to, to switch oh, everything. Yeah. Oh, man. The Stream Deck is amazing. If you can believe it, I just... Um, upgraded to the XL, and it has been a world of awesomeness since I've done that. I just got one at work, and I don't have one here at my studio, and I was like, I don't need it. But after using it, it makes everything so much easier. Yeah. Just paying I attention to the screen, folders. to the stream cam, I, and, I mean the stream deck and not the computer. 
That's awesome. So tell us a little bit about, I see you use a little bit different mic than a lot of people use on the stream. So tell us a little about your microphone there. Well, this is the microphone professionals have been using forever. This is the Heil PR40. A guy named Bob Heil created it. He was a ham radio guy. And ham radio is a very squelchy, noisy technology to begin with. But the mics were especially awful. So he's like, I'm going to engineer a microphone that sounds amazing. And through several iterations, he finally came up with the Heil PR40. And um, broadcast professionals have been using it forever. It's a dynamic mic. It's one of the best mics for off-axis rejection. So if you, you know, I'm not going to speak away from it because my voice will go way, way down. You could be in a, a concert hall or like a, a like a, a conference hall and do a podcast, and the background noise will just be a, a little low murmur. Now, are you running that through? I think I saw Roadcaster when you were switching through oh, there. Yeah. Yep. 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 I have the. Uh, Roadcaster Pro. Whoop, that's not the right button. Roadcaster Pro. And I also, I don't think this is really necessary, but I'm pushing it through a cloud lifter as well. I was going to ask that if you were doing a cloud lifter. Um... You know, I, I didn't know that I needed it. So I bought it thinking, well, I might need it. And once I plugged it in, I'm like, oh, yeah, it, <laughs> it definitely sounds sounds better. But the Roadcaster, holy cow, let me tell you, that is an amazing device. It's a lifesaver, isn't it? Oh, I cannot get over how awesome the Roadcaster Pro is. Um, it just blew my expectations away. Uh, it has um, the two extra proprietary features of the sound compression, which is the big bottom and the oral exciter. Right. And those two things, oh, it just makes the <laughs> voice so buttery smooth. If anything would happen to my Rodecaster Pro, I would instantly buy another one. So let's do that. One of the questions we always ask, always ask is like, what is the one piece of gear that you just, is your favorite piece of gear? Would you say it's the Rodecaster? <laughs> I, I think it might be, well, that and I think it's a tie. The Stream Deck, I think, is right up there as well. Very the Stream good. Deck doesn't seem like it would add that much benefit to your production. Oh, but it does. It does so very much. It it lets you focus on delivering content and with a, with just pushing buttons, you can fly through your show with very complex scenes and overlays and not even think about it. Now, speaking of all that, using Ecamm and you got the cameras, what are you powering all this through? What is your um, computer that you're using for all this? I have the M1 Mac Mini with the 16 megs of or gigs of RAM. And it's the M1. Let me tell you, the M1, yep. M1 Mac Mini. And it is everything I throw at it, it can do. Like, and it's dead silent. I was jamming this weekend, cranking out videos, and I was pushing it hard. And I was streaming too while I was video editing. So I had Ecamm going, I had Final Cut Pro going, I popped over into Photoshop. Like, I had all the big apps just cranking. It didn't miss a beat man i just i just love it and then the sony the 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 nice modern mirrorless cameras i was using this puppy here this is a very old canon t2i i know this a lot of people that use that still 11 years old and i built an empire off of this camera i have another channel with almost 8000 subscribers um that I've had much longer than all things YouTube. And this this built that empire, and it was just a workhorse. But the so reason I switched to the Sony was it's, it's, it just wasn't cutting it. It could do 1080-30. It couldn't do 1080-60. And everything started to fall off. All the plastic came off. This thing, I spilled soda in it. It doesn't... <laughs> 
<laughs> it's supposed to pop up. It's not supposed right. to stay like that. So anyway, I'm still getting my use out of it. <laughs> That's and really, then, really uh, good. So well, you said you had a, an empire. So is this a full-time job? Are you full-time content creator or do you have a day job and this is a side hustle? It, it might as well be a full-time job for the hours I put in. But no, I, I do have a day job uh, uh, weekdays during business hours. I work for a publisher and we do education materials and I'm a business analyst right now, but I've also gone through many different areas with the company, including tech, mostly tech, a lot of assets. I was in charge of uh, cataloging and, um, you know, putting the, the hierarchy into the, the ontology of, of that. So I, I'm very good at managing assets and making assets. What is the next piece of equipment? What is the next thing that you're looking to get to kind of take you <laughs> to that next level? You, you've been eyeballing something. Uh, uh, you know, I know I have a lot of equipment, but it was a slow build to get here. Um, 40 bucks at a time, saving up my pennies. Um, I, I would probably get the m1 max mac mini if that is what hits the market well matt i want to thank you very much for you know <laughs> going behind the string with us showing what you got why don't you tell everyone how they can find you and connect with you or maybe watch some of your content uh, this you is go. the website this will point you to everything all things youtube.com and if you want to buy my icon set if i can pitch that sure i have a new store and I'm selling these Stream Deck icons. I made these Stream Deck icons myself. Um, I have over 400 of them. I'm asking 25 bucks, but it's a pay what you want model. You can pay as little as five. And if you go to allthingsyoutube.com slash icon, it'll take you right to the buy page or you can find the link here. So um, do that and my course. Be awesome on YouTube, folks. Don't be <laughs> mediocre. <laughs> Well, that's great. I think everybody that watches the stream show, you know, where our mission is to help streamers succeed. Look at people like Matt that is, you know, $40 a time, worked his way up. Um, you know, I suggest a lot of people do that. You don't have to have the best and the brightest, you know, to get started. So get started today and use Ecamm. Thank you, Matt.